FDA will soon require researchers and drug companies to submit plans for ensuring diversity in clinical trials. Now, the effort to expand the pool of participants is already underway right here in Rochester. News 10 NBC investigative reporter Jennifer Lukey spoke with the head of Wilmot Cancer Institute about changes it's making to become more inclusive. It's really been, I'd say, over the last three to five years that there's been significant attention addressing this and really making um, major attempts to uh, improve uh, things going forward. Historically, 85% of patients who've participated in drug trials at Wilmot Cancer Institute have been white. And while that percentage mirrors the diversity in the overall nine county regions it serves, it does not reflect the Rochester region specifically. So Wilmot has taken some steps to change that. And we have certain clinical trials where we're actually intentionally trying to accrue diverse patient populations. So as an example, uh, multiple myeloma is a cancer that is uh, significantly overrepresented in black uh, individuals. And we have a clinical trial that is sp specifically targeting that population. Dr. Friedberg says it hasn't always been easy to recruit people of color. When surveyed, many say the time commitment of the trials and the travel required to participate are barriers. And we're building into our trial budgets, uh, travel fees. We partner with the American Cancer Society around uh, Hope Lodge, which is free lodging for patients who particularly are rural uh, community patients where they can come and stay. And, um, you know, that's very close to, to our, our center. And then there's building trust within those diverse and rural communities. Regarding the trust, one of the other things we've made a strong effort to do is to diversify the staff in our clinical trials office. I think if people are able to interact with people who look like them and who come from broader backgrounds, you know, that inherently um, is helpful. Wilma also tells me it's working with its doctors, too, to make sure they know about all the trials that are happening and will be happening so that they can educate all of their patients, making sure that people of any color who may be eligible have the information they need to decide whether to participate. Brett. All right, Jennifer, thank you.